Data Video How-To Tutorials. In this video, we will go over what you need to do in preparation for your live stream by answering some frequently asked questions. 1. What kind of upload speed do I need? You need at least a 5 megabit per second upload speed on a clear network with no other devices connected that are using bandwidth. Your download speed is not as critical as your upload speed. Generally, we recommend at least 2.5 times the upload speed of the bitrate you will be streaming. For example, a stream of 4 megabits per second would need an upload speed of 10 megabits per second. With this in mind, you're probably wondering our next question, which is, how do I check my upload speed? Simply connect your computer via ethernet to the network you will be using for streaming and go to www.speedtest.net. Follow the on-screen instructions and test your connection. Next is question number three, which is how can I test my stream? You can make a test stream account on YouTube, Facebook, or any CDN for your stream. You can also test it locally on VLC. For a tutorial on that, you'll find the link in the description below. Four, what happens to the stream if there is a power loss? Your stream will definitely cut out for your viewers. On some CDNs, like YouTube Live, your stream can be reconnected and your viewers will see a stream offline message and then the stream will come back on, so you do not need to make a new link. However, on Facebook Live, your stream will complete and post to your wall. When you reconnect, Facebook Live will create a new stream and video. You can use this to break up a long event into several videos, which might be useful on Facebook. However, if your stream cuts out and you want to keep it all on the same link, you're out of luck. Be sure to check the links in the description below for more videos and helpful articles. Thanks for watching. 